Hi everyone, my name is Carrie and I'm from On the Ridge Homestead. Today we are going to be talking about how to save your lemon juice. If you have a lemon tree that is overproducing this time of year and you wish that you could have that fresh citrus flavor in the winter, I'm going to show you how to do that. Canning lemon juice is really easy to do and it's a simple process. Honestly, getting the juice out of the lemons is what takes me the longest. So you can use just a manual juicer like this. Um, if you have an electric juicer, a press one, that you just want to separate your seeds and pulp as much as you can. And then get all the juice out. Okay, what a mess. So I've got all the peels in jars here and over there. This is our juice. This is the pulp and seeds. This is what you get from approximately 20 pounds of lemons. So the first step you want to do is make sure you have a pot big enough to hold your juice. And if you want to strain um, the extra pulp and seeds out, you can. I'm just going to use a mesh strainer. There's a couple seeds in here. Um, the pulp doesn't bother me too much. I don't mind the pulp being in there. But I know some people prefer pulp-free juice, so I will get this poured in here. And I can fetch out any seeds. So we've got a few seeds there. Gonna get this on the stove. So we're gonna heat this lemon juice and with lemon juice and lime juice, any citrus, it is important to note you don't want it to boil. When you get it all the way up to the boiling at 220 degrees, it changes the flavor. Something happens to this acid in it, it breaks down and it doesn't taste good. So we're gonna heat this to 200 degrees. If you have a thermometer, that's great. If not, keep a really close eye on it and just turn it off when it gets right before boiling. Because the lemon juice is gonna go into the jars hot, um, one, you wanna make sure that your jars are hot. The temperature change, if you have hot liquid going into cold jars, it can make your jars crack. Um, but you also want to make sure that your water bath canner is hot. So, and again, the same thing. You don't want different temperatures. It'll cause your jars to break. Okay, I got my thermometer out. Just a regular digital thermometer. I'm going to stir this and check the temperature. magic number. Okay, I think we are almost there. 195 degrees. Alright friends, so when your lemon juice is at 200 degrees. Go ahead and take it off the stove and start filling your jars. And just fill them so they are right above the neckline on the jar. You're going to just fill them. This is the neckline right there. Just fill them a little bit above. You don't have to be too specific about the head space, but you don't want too much head space I'm going to 
All right, this is the same as any other tanning. You're gonna wipe your rims and put your lids on. When you tighten the rings, do not over tighten, just finger tight. to water bath them for five minutes. So. kind of hard to see in there but it is important to remember when you're water bath canning you want that water level to be an inch above your jars so at least an inch and we're gonna go ahead and set our timer for five minutes all right it's been five minutes we're gonna go ahead and take the jars out of the canner um, put them on a towel don't ever set hot jars onto your countertop directly. Um, again, that temperature shift can crack your jars. Also, could potentially crack your countertops depending on what type they are. So I'm gonna get my jars. From approximately 20 pounds of lemons, I got 10 pints of lemon juice. And now you're probably wondering, um, we took care of the lemon juice, so what do we do with the peels? And so peels are very versatile. You can dehydrate them. If you have a dehydrator, you can also dehydrate them in your oven and then grind them up. Um, I did that recently with some lime peels. So I'll also do, I'll also do a lemon infused vinegar, which is really simple to do, and I'll show that in my next video as well. And um, you can also, if you don't want to do the vinegar or dehydrate, you could do candied lemon peels. Those are really good. Um, but there's lots of lots of things you can do. You could boil them. Um, to get some of that lemon oil and um, the rest of the juices out and make like a jelly. So 
lots of ideas. But um, for now, that's all we have. We turn our lemons into lemon juice, and now we have 10 pints of uh, shelf-stable lemon juice to use for baking, cooking, lemonade, whatever we need throughout the winter. So yay! All right, uh, let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for lemon peels, and uh, please make sure you like, like and subscribe. Okay.